Um, hello, welcome to Smith's based in Borton on the Water. My name's Sebastian. I am currently running this restaurant with my younger brother, Theo. It's been about two years since we've opened our doors, really, the start of lockdown. But uh, yeah, we've uh, found our strength, like selling burgers, and that's where we found our identity. A bit about me in more detail. I actually studied out in Iowa, of all places in America. So reason I went out there initially was to uh, actually play football or soccer and naturally being in America I found a big love for burgers. When I came back we had a big opportunity to actually take this place on and even more luckily my little brother is a trained chef so we thought absolutely no better opportunity than to set up a restaurant based in one of the most beautiful parts of the country. Borton is uh, probably one of the busiest places that I've ever been, let alone worked. So on the staff front, I think it's really important that we try and get everyone in a really good mood before we open the doors and let the chaos descend. We love every minute of it. We get such pleasure from hearing the reviews and responses from people saying that we serve the best burgers and that is what we strive to do. And we get a kick out of that. All of the amazing feedback and response from people saying that we do incredible burgers. Quite incredible that we've gone on such a big journey from literally standing outside the front of our shop with a tiny grill with absolutely no customers today where we are. We've got over 500 reviews on TripAdvisor, over three and a half thousand followers on Instagram, returning customers. Those long hours are all made worthwhile when you just hear one good bit of um, feedback for the day. So definitely a massive sense of achievement there. But biggest lessons that, that I've personally learned since sort of starting our business is sort of managing um, people is I think one of the most difficult but rewarding things. I think it's a, an, an ongoing sort of learning process, but I think if you can really learn how to motivate people and learn how to get the best out of people then that um, translates into how your customers are being served the passion um, because Theo and I have a huge passion for not only burgers but hospitality delivering a service and it's about how we get that into our staff members being open-minded and being able to you know, look at both sides um, whether it's good or bad and I think the good uh, restaurant owners or business owners are the people that have got that balance where they are approachable and they are human beings and they can also sort of crack the whip if you like and when it when work needs to be done work needs to be done but it's about getting that balance the most favorite part of my job is making the burgers cooking that's one of my biggest passions my favorite part of the job is just seeing the happy faces the customers like when you when they've been given their burger and they as they leave the door and they're saying this is just an incredible place and also the staff as well just seeing them so happy and with quite a close sort of unit and everyone's just working together that's what i love about smiths is it's all just one big family we are a, a family run individual business which which adds to the charm and the the, the, the special feel of the place. It's a complete sort of blank canvas um, day by day. For me, proudest moments are 100% after a busy Friday or Saturday service. You know, we're doing 50 to 60 covers, which is a, a huge amount of people to get through, especially when we're cooking all the food to order. But there is no better feeling in my opinion than when all the staff have given their absolute all and there hasn't been a single mistake I think it takes a huge amount of talent, organisation to run a shift when everyone's able to sit down afterwards and have a drink. Um, those moments for me are the most important and, and the proudest. Our granddad was based in the RAF just around the corner and the mouse trap in Borson on the Water was one of his favourite drinking places. So in 2014, my mum and dad decided to pay a trip down memory lane, drove into Borton, saw this place was up for auction and actually a week later bought the premise. We couldn't, I don't think, place our business in a better location. It's seriously busy in the summer, but also, you know, equally beautiful. The best thing about Smiths of Borton uh, is, is the burgers and the cocktails, especially in the Cotswolds. Nowhere really specializes in that kind of thing. I mean, a lot of places in London have that sort of collaboration with the burgers and the cocktails, but we decided we'd bring that sort of London feel to the Cotswolds. What we strive to do as a business is to, to deliver great, great plates of food. We source all of our ingredients locally where we can. So we use the likes of Bramley's, we use Mark's Cotswolds Bakery for our buns. Um, you know, all the buns are handmade daily. We have heavily invested 
in great liqueurs. We've invested in a great barman who's had over 10 years experience. So, you know, where we can, we try and do things to the absolute sort of best of our ability. And I think the local community really do kind of appreciate those little touches, um, but also appreciate a good burger and a good cocktail. I mean, what's your favorite burger, Theon? What's your favorite cocktail? Uh, my favorite burger is got to be the triple beer because that's that's my baby i created that it consists of uh blueberry barbecue sauce goat's cheese crispy pancetta and crispy onions just the perfect combination uh, don't ask me where i got that but you it know, works it just works so and cocktail i would have to say an old-fashioned i can't go wrong with an old-fashioned um my favorite burger it's a tough one but it's the burger off Sweet. our new menu um and it's a green chili cheeseburger so i'm a massive fan of spicy food and so our green chili cheeseburger essentially is a take on a standard cheeseburger um, but we use a lovely smoked cheddar and then we have some lovely green chilies uh, which have been cooked down slowly and um, favorite cocktail there's too many to choose from or i'd probably say a whiskey sour or even a negroni so a negroni is obviously quite an acquired taste but um, you know they are definitely delicious in my opinion um where do we see ourselves in five years God knows. Um, I think, yeah, for us, that the, the important thing is to sort of nail this place. We've still got so much here to do, to develop. And we've got an amazing um, courtyard that's going to be opening, we hope, fairly soon, which is beautifully secluded. It's an amazing conservation area. We can't wait to develop that and really sort of make the most of it. But once we have nailed that, you know, we've definitely got ambitions of going on and opening up other places, really. Obviously focus on this place first. We've only been here two years and so much has already happened in two years and, and in the next three years, who knows what can happen.